welcome back to Rainy Dewey's Art Spot. Today I'm going to try to finish some of these pencil drawings that I have stacked up. I showed them to you in a previous video. Let me grab them now. Um, I have some small landscapes. Um, here's one that I'm trying to finish. A reference photo for it. Um, I have a large one. This one needs to be finished. It's a my there's some minor things that need to be done, but I'm having a hard time with them. I'll explain it as I go. Um, I have another large one that I'm trying to finish. Um, what happens to me a lot of times is I'll get to a place where I run into a difficult spot and then I'll just stop and um, then I end up with a pile of unfinished uh, pieces of artwork that really probably only take a few minutes to finish, maybe a half an hour, an hour. I could just push through it. So I'm gonna try to push through it. Here's another one. This is my morning commute. It's probably almost done, but I just, um, you can see there's not the definition in, in this tree line that I really like to express. So there's not much to do. I just gotta finish it. Um, so I'm just going to take them one by one and um, try to finish. This was a little winter landscape. I don't, I paint winter landscapes, but don't always do pencil drawings in, in um, uh, winter landscapes. So this one, not sure what's wrong with it, but it doesn't have that bam factor. <laughs> anyway, I've got a pile. Um, tried to do a portrait of my son a long time ago with his dog, Oscar. Okay. Knock it off. Finish things. Bad, bad habit. <laughs> Don't do what I do. <laughs> so grab your pencils or just grab your notebook or just get a cup of coffee and sit and um, draw with me. I'll talk you through it once I'm done, what I was doing, the stumbling blocks that I experienced and um, how I tried to fix it. So anyway, let's go. I did go through the pile and decided to take some of the easier ones and start with those. Um, because a lot of times when you stop and you don't go back to a drawing or painting for a while, you need to regain your momentum. And so I decided to start with a couple of the simpler landscapes. Um, you'll notice my style is a building. I, I do layers. I paint in layers and I actually draw in layers. And I use a variety of pencils. Some of, some of them are H and some are B. H is for hardness and B is for blackness. So if it's an H pencil, it won't give you as dark a value as the B pencils. And so um, I use a very smooth surface. This uh, paper that I use here is a Bristol. Very smooth. Um, I think it's probably a 90 pound paper. It's got a nice uh, thickness to it and it doesn't have texture. I like to create my own texture. You'll see me flipping the pencil around. That's when I'm changing uh, the pencil that I'm using. So I go from one to another um, and I'm trying to show you what they are. But since I've sped it up, you can't really see which pencil I'm changing. But that's what's happening when I'm flipping them around. Once I get close uh, to what I think is finished, I'll take a mat and I'll uh, put the mat edges um, around the drawing or painting. Um, it helps you focus, it helps you see what you have left to do, um, and it helps you actually find imperfections. Um, I'm not sure why. I think it helps you focus on the piece itself. Um, and so that's why you saw me put the mats on the mat around it. 
and you can see on the left there's a variety of manufacturer pencils and weights um, you see a couple of 6B there those are very dark and then the 3H that's a hard pencil and it and it gets uh, a very light value and I just go back and forth grabbing one you'll see a couple of uh, blending tools over there I did use the blending tool in the sky uh, quite a bit one is another very small drawing and unfortunately I couldn't find my reference photo so I kind of grabbed something that would at least give me some foliage to look at and I'm gonna have to try to uh, fudge it figure it out without the photo um, what I had to do is I had to trim the paper it was out of square the image itself was out of square so I had to re uh, reline it and um, here I am just building my layers. So let me let you watch without me yattering. What we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. I wanted to say that the building of the layers, while it might seem monotonous, it actually is a sort of um, a meditative type experience. It's just a repetitive building and the same repeated strokes and um, you're paying attention obviously to what your values are and what you want it to look like in the end but it's it's very forgiving and it's very relaxing so um, I encourage you to give it a try it's really a blast you and I, we got it.
thanks for stopping by to watch another in a series of finish what you've started. Um, I appreciate your taking the time to watch and if you have any questions be sure to leave a comment or you can send me an email. I'd be happy to help you. Hopefully the next time I do one of these start what you've finished uh, part two I'll tackle something a little more difficult instead of being a coward. <laughs> so stand by. Thanks again for watching.